what is up guys and welcome back to new game plus today i got you once again another new video and this video was requested by another one of my subscribers asking for some help with the flycast emulator how to download it and how and where to put the bios files and also i'm going to show you where to put the games just in case you guys have any question regarding that emulator and uh <clears throat> let's jump right in so you guys can see right here on my main screen the way that we download the apps and install it we silo everything using app store so you on your device after you install also you're gonna just open the app you're gonna go to browse you're gonna go to sources flycast now is one of the trusted sources available on app store if you don't see them here in the trusted sources and that means that you're probably using an older version of all store or the all server make sure you have everything updating up today uh, also like in my previous video i'm going to have a link below in the video description showing you how to install all store beginning from end and everything that you can skip on that video it shows showing you step by step how to install all store and have it running <clears throat> so going back to going back to the main topic after you click on sources you're gonna look for the flycast store so you can find it in the store and download it through all store uh the source is gonna be this one down below here it's called flying head that's the developer the github uh source for all stores to find flycast after you have that that source enable make sure you close the app so you can refresh and then you open it again and then you go back to browse search and you're gonna look for flycast well after you see flycast you're gonna click install you don't see that option for me because i already installed my ipad and the same tutorial is goes also for the iphone as well or using an ipod ipad or iphone it's the same tutorial so everything is in the same ios family is gonna work exactly the same as you guys can see i already have the emulator here installed so after you install the emulator uh, you basically want to run it for the first time just like I did in my previous video so you could actually actually by running it it will generate the folders necessary where we need to place the files that we need so after you run the app you could go ahead and close it and you're gonna go to your files app open your files app and you're gonna go into my device after you go to my device you are going to go to the folder of the emulator in this case the flycast emulator right over here you're gonna click on this and this is where you're gonna place the bios file the bios files are these two right here i'm gonna have a highlight so you guys can see which one are the bio file sadly i can't provide you with those files because it's copyright protected and it's illegal to do so so i don't have any download links for any of this so you will have to do a quick google search and find those yourself i cannot provide you with those files this video is, is done for educational purposes so i cannot provide you with those files so those files you need those two files inside of this folder that's the bios in order to boot the emulator so after you have that in there you will be able to boot it but one more thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need to use the streamer i have another tutorial i'm gonna link it down below in the video description because this app needs to be run with jip in order to work properly so if you don't have that it's not gonna work so make sure you have that installed and up and running and once again i'm gonna have the video down below in the description so you guys can see how to get that going for the games inside of the same folder right here in the flycast folder you just basically when you have your game your isos you're gonna drop them inside all this other uh, the same folder when you extract your files or maybe you can make a folder like i have over here with my games that i made folders with the name of, with the names on it and you just basically drop it in here with the respective files needed and um, basically when you run your emulator you're gonna see that they're gonna start to show up in here and if you don't see it remember to always like close it and run it again and you will be able to see the games inside your emulator so that's pretty much it what you have to do in order to install the file the bios file inside the emulator and as well as for the game that's all basically what you need to do and once again remember to do the 
the JIT streaming tutorial, make sure you have the JIT streaming already running in your device because if you don't have the JIT streaming running. Uh, once again, let me show you real quick what will happen. If you try to open a game, the emulator will crash. If you see this happening with the Play PS2 emulator, the Dolphin emulator, or this emulator right here. If you see that happening to you, it's because you need to have the JIT streamer running in. Uh, you need to uh, have the emulator using the JB in order to work properly. So again, I can't stress this enough. I have a tutorial how to set this up. This is the easiest, fastest way to do it. And as you guys can see, as a little example right here, I already got the JIT streamer running. I'm running the shortcut. Step by step of how to do this is going to be on the video description. So you could get to the tutorial. It's super easy to do. And it will get your emulators up and running. So as you guys can see right here, this uh, basically will launch the app. And if I try to click on the game when this is uh, when this is completely open, you're gonna notice that the game is gonna be working properly. Let me just turn this on so I can show you something fast and quick and easy. Let me show you. If I try to click on the game again. It loaded up, it's running. So that's all you guys need to do. So if you find the video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe for more. Leave a uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you're confused or something, maybe I could help you out. And once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.